was saying that I don't exactly have a legion of thousands and thousands of subscribers, so it wouldn't spoil it for people, and I hope that with a bit of a push, I could actually get this map seen by potentially a couple of thousand people if I'm lucky. I mean, I I think it's really good, so um, it's a really good idea. But you're probably thinking, if, if I've been doing all this work on it, but I haven't actually placed a block, what have I been doing? Well, I've been writing, I've been drawing, this adventure map will require a custom texture pack. It'll also require maybe one or two mods, not to affect gameplay, but just to affect um, how it looks. If any of you have played um, Deep, Turtle, Deep Space Turtle Chase, you'll probably sort of get an appreciation of what I mean by that. The things like changing the tooltips is something that I would love to be able to do because it will totally revolutionize how this game will work out. I mean, it'll help me so much, um, especially with the, with the custom texture pack. There's I've got some really cool ideas. At the moment, I'm kind of building it alone, uh, probably with a little bit of help from Nip Day. Um, but maybe that's something, I mean, maybe that's something that in the future, I mean, like, if you think about it, the Voxel Box guys had, like, scores of people working on the adventure map. And that might be something I, I do. I might, you know, if you're really interested, if you're a good builder, sure, fire me some of the stuff you've done. I'll take a look at it. And we might be able to get you involved. Uh, I'm doing the texture pack myself because, like, I think I've got a, pr a reasonably artistic eye and I know kind of what I want from that. So, I don't think I need too much help there, but I might, you never know. I'll definitely need the help of a modder, so if any of you guys are modders or no modders, then yeah, put them in touch with me because that would be amazing. Um, oh, I've got so many ideas for this land. Oh, that, that's such a cool space there. I'm definitely going to have to build some sort of podium in the center of that. Um, yeah, so let me know. Do you guys want to know? Would you rather it be a surprise? I mean... Yeah, I'm I'm curious to see what you think. Um, <laughs> so I apologize for the sort of sporadic and, and 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 more kind of news nature of look at that island. That's awesome. Of these first two episodes, or maybe it's three. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's just two. Um, I promise by the time the third one comes along, I'll have gathered more resources. I won't be just wandering around aimlessly. I will have set myself up a little base. Um, my plans are, guys, to. I'm going to want to do some sort of perimeter setup. I want to um I want to have a base that utilizes the fact that mobs won't spawn around it. So I'll probably build a little boat, go out to the ocean, see if it's big enough. Start digging down essentially. So yeah, that'll be a big task and obviously I'll do the vast majority of that off camera. Um <laughs> that's such a cool sand mountain. That's going to provide me with a lot of sandstone. Yeah guys, anything you want to know or see in this Let's Play, just give me a bell, because I am more than willing to listen, because as I said, it's the first time I've done this sort of thing, and it's, it's exciting, I'm, I'm excited about it, I, 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 I honestly don't care if this is seen by, you know, just the people who see it whenever I put it up, or thousands of people in, in, a, couple of, in a couple of months time, whatever. It's just purely for my enjoyment, and yeah, it's 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 gonna give me a reason to do it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh well, okay. If I'm if people are waiting on a let's play episode, then I'm gonna have to go and play Minecraft for a couple of hours. Oh, woe is me! You know, <laughs> what a sad life. So, yeah, great. Oh, I'm excited.
back to another episode of um whatever this is. <laughs> Good start. As you can see, um, I haven't done an awful lot of resource management. This is just a quick update before I let you know what I'm just so to let you know what I'm doing. I am building a massive circle. This is essentially a very well. I say a small. This is going to be a perimeter setup. I want to build a big epic ocean base. These are essentially the only resources I have on me in the world. Um, oh, what have I done? And yeah, I've gone out, I've calculated the circle. I think I messed up actually slightly, but um, whatever, it's more or less bang on. And I am going to start the epic, daunting task of first of all draining the circle, building it down, like so, probably. Um, yeah, starting to drain the circle, and then once I've done that, can I breathe? Is it? Yep, I like that method of breathing. Once I've done that, I'm starting to mine down. I don't know if I'll mine down to bedrock, but because that would be a massive task. But it would certainly be a way of getting uh, all the resources that I'd ever need. So it's something I'm considering doing. I'll obviously do it all off camera. You guys don't have to like sit and uh, oh, watch me do all that nonsense. I mean, that would be pretty boring. I can tell you that much. Cause I'm sure this is right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's my that's my plan. Um, I'll probably give you uh, little updates as I'm going along. I've got a couple of hours. So when I say a couple, I've got like quite a lot of hours to just uh, <laughs> mess about in this game. So yeah, that's my plan. <laughs> Daunting, eh? <laughs> Catch you in a bit, guys.